Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the last Avatar, the last Airbender episode from season one. I just watched the seventh one and it was really like the build up before the battle of the north. Before I start watching that, I do want to tell you that if you want, you can see all of my Avatar The Last Airbender reactions on COD. So my full reactions to the episodes, they're all available on my Patreon and the link to that is in the description. Uh, by subscribing, you would really help me and support my channel. And that gives me the opportunity to work more on my videos and upload more videos. So I would really appreciate that, but don't feel like you have to because by watching my videos and maybe liking and sharing or whatever, yeah, you're already also really helping me out. I'm very excited about this. Um, some of my friends already finished the show. I think most people finished by now it's been here for a week now and they said that the finale was pretty emotional but also epic so yeah from what i heard up to now i'm looking forward to it in the last episode we saw that katara um challenged master paku i think that was pretty epic i think what i'm most looking forward to is the ua storyline and i think just the finale in general so uh yeah let's see if it's good and um yeah let's watch it <laughs> Whoa, Eva looked like such a threat there for a second. Scary Eva. Yeah, I think we're gonna see some cool fighting. You know what I also just realized? Um, because there hasn't been an airbender in a hundred years. Nice, Katara. Of course, these people, they don't really know how to fight air anymore. They don't have any strategies for that, I think, because... They didn't need it for a hundred years. Just something that popped up in my mind for a second. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Was that Sokka blowing out of the window? Well, he's just hanging there on the tail. That's some kick-ass teamwork. Yeah. Once you're down, three more to go. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Damn. Ozai really gave them a big fleet. Insane. Legends. One way or another, this is where my journey ends. Uncle, Lou Ten would have been proud. Why didn't you have to say that? <laughs> Instant crying. <laughs> Remember your breath of fire. We'll meet again. After I have the avatar. I was crying too. Oh. This is bad, isn't it? I'd say it's 50 50. 60 40. Where are you going? To even the odds. Huh. Weren't you the one who pointed out a frontal assault on the waterbenders would be fruitless? It would make sense to attack on multiple fronts. One ship, but not one vessel. Oh, yeah. Courtesy of our spies in homage. Oh, yeah. This is just a prototype. Huh. <laughs> I'm really like, yes, I get that some of them are not waterbenders, but then you see like some of these boys just picking up a wooden spear and I'm like, see what you're fighting to. Yes. The women? I mean, then you basically double your army. Good is it relying on the past when it stops us from having a future? Get over yourself, you <laughs> old fool, and let us get the job done. Why does one guy get to decide that? The side of the wall needs reinforcement. See if the warriors need any other assistance. You'll be the first line of defense. We'll be ready. I feel like I know him, but he looks like a guy, but like the guy is Dutch. You are the future of the Northern Water Tribe. My daughter. Whoa, yeah, he really looks like him. <laughs> it's just this guy from this Dutch reality show. Make sure the princess stays safe. I swear I won't leave her side. Take care of her. Master Paku told us to report to you. Paku sent you to me? Progress? 
haven't finished our training yet. Try our best. Oh. You can start by reinforcing that section. It's so nice when men don't let their toxic masculinity yes, stand in the way and just Oh, master good job. And just listen to someone even though she's a woman because they know she's better at that point. So nice. Waterbenders draw their strength from the moon. The night light oh comes, yeah, that's what it was like, yeah. Peak. I suggest you pause the attack until daybreak. No. <laughs> no. I have been no. up on that. Isn't just any moon. It's the ice moon. Physical and spirit worlds grow thin on this night. I needed an edge. Just a bunch of mumbo jumbo about lion turtles. And... It was from this oasis the tribe looked up to the sky and learned to waterbend, watching the moon push and pull the tides. Their powers come from the spirit of the moon. They take physical form and become part of the mortal world. Yin and yang, life and death. You're not thinking of tampering with the spirit world, are you? Are you? Aang. Avatar Kurok? Filling the ocean spirit would deprive waterbenders around the world. Yeah, but he is going to kill the moon I'm spirits. I'm monster. I'm only going to kill the moon. I was going to say, like, yeah, the moon, however. We'll throw the entire world out of balance. We need to find Sokka and Yue. Something terrible is about to happen. Where are Sokka and Yue? Oh, there. Okay. Did Momo just save a kid? D Momo? Damn. Momo, you actually made yourself useful. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Momo? Oh. <laughs> Little body in pain. Or is he joking? Live, barely. No. No, oh, that's so sad. Maybe I can help him. No, he's definitely not joking. Momo also feels like a goofy character to me, even though he can't talk. Where are we? Oh. Save the little body. Give him to me. This is where the priest brought me when I was sick. To the source of all spiritual energy in our land. Momo! <laughs> me, don't scare me like that. Aww. Sokka finally has a bond with Momo. <laughs> it's cute. Oh no. Something that shouldn't be here. No. Wouldn't it be pretty easy to like get it out of the air if the balloon explodes? This one's not designed for combat, just transport. How do you know that? Because I helped design the thing. That is messed up. Like he had no idea why he was designing it and now. Avatar! There's nowhere left to run. This isn't about Zhao, this is about us! And you're coming with me now! Go. Stop Zhao. Oh, okay. I'll deal with him. Go easy. <laughs> Enough people have been hurt already. I don't care. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Katara got so good in, in eight episodes. Feels like a really short time. You learned some new tricks. Yeah. But I didn't come this far to lose to you. I mean, Zuko has been training for his entire life. She has been training for a few months, I think. You little peasant! You found a master, haven't you? Not really, though. Yes, you're looking at her. She's trying to kill the ocean and moon spirits. But he can't. That would mean the end of our people. Push and pull. Yin and yang. Yes! Whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold! This can still work out for you, Iroh. Place is a new Fire Lord. You can stand by my side. Your presence will lend legitimacy to my claim. As long as he bows... Before Zhao! The Moon Slayer! Oh. Is that the bag the Funko Pop is holding? Huh. I always thought it was a bag of money, but... I think they meant the fish, actually. Or fish. Spirit. I can wipe out an entire race of benders. Can you imagine what that's like? Yes. I can. If you do this, there won't be a world to rule. It's just gonna be the earthbenders left. I'll go with you. 
peacefully. Do you think anyone cares about you? Be once I eliminate water bending from the world. Master of three elements doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Let's face it, you don't matter anymore. It's like, you know it's gonna happen, and you're still like, but maybe it'll get away this time. You wait. Oh no. I can't bend. Oh no, <laughs> right in the middle of that battle. <sighs> that was the vision. I have constant chills. My friends were right. One hell of an episode. Fall back! Fall back! No! I'll cover your retreat. Everybody's gone. There's no hope now. It's over. Putting your duties above all else, even your life. The Avatar has to oh. make <laughs> Stop! Stop! The world's needs ahead of your needs. But it pales before the power of the elemental spirits. It's not over. Years ago. This isn't my time or my world. <sighs> oh, the music is just already hitting me so hard and then just seeing all of this. Oh. Oh, they did this so well. Where's Katara? Is she lying under the mess? The Zuko, there are really more important things right now. He's just like the Avatar. We must, we can't, we must. Yeah, okay. Imagine waking up and being like, what the hell? It's not gonna do shit. Let me go. He's a small man who's going to meet a small end. Suck everything from me. And from a lot of other people. Dow! You're alive. Traitor. Coward. Everything. My mission was- Your mission was a sham. Did you really think the Fire Lord was gonna take you back? Ozai was playing with you. Well, I think in the end he would have, but the reason he gave him this task was, of course, because he thought it was, yeah, impossible and he would never come back. Thought that was his way of teaching him a les lesson. As motivation for your sister. You lie. Who do you think was my ally? Through all this, who convinced the Fire Lord to send me the Yuyan Archer? Who identified the Blue Spirit Sword? Azula told me everything I needed to know. Fucking Azula. Fire in which her iron was forged. 
The colors are constantly so weird, but it's of course because the moon is gone. Now you made him really angry. Yeah. Oh. Iro. Well, they did get them out of there. Or not. You really think you're gonna defeat that with a little fire? is a vengeful spirit who will roam endlessly looking for its partner but will never find it there must be something we can do some way to bring the moon back to life no <laughs> thank you Huey, what are you doing i was touched by the moon spirit as a child so i have its life within me this isn't a sad thing do you know why the ocean and moon spirits take physical form for a night? It's because they want to know what it is to be mortal. Just leave. Come back. Aang, you're not just the Avatar. You're my family. We are your family. Aang. Please don't. No, please. You don't have to do this. No, no. Do it! never meant to die a hundred years ago. If you had, you wouldn't be here now. I need you. These are the moments where I'm like, this is why I don't rewatch that often because it just kills me emotionally. Oh. oh. Han. Honestly, I feel like that would be great. If things get too much for a bit. Get your stick and fly. Jesus. Yeah, okay, I have been crying. <sighs> My daughter always made her own choices. Not something you or anyone could have stopped. She sacrificed herself for all of us. Me, I watched it happen. I stood on the sidelines being the warrior I could never be. Sokka, in a moment when she must have been scared, you made sure she wasn't alone. Is the episode almost over? I'm, I'm kind of done crying. <laughs> it's just like the first and the last episode. The, both episodes I just cried constantly. But first episode out of excitement. And some sad parts. And, and last episode out of sadness. <laughs> Do you remember how I told you water is the element of change? I'd forgotten what that truly meant. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Is the key to new life. You reminded me of that. And I'm deeply grateful that you did. There's a whole new generation of waterbenders who need training. We could use your help. The Aang still has a journey to complete, and so do I. After all the Avatar still has to learn waterbending. She couldn't have asked for a better master. Hmm. And you... still, we haven't seen Aang <laughs> waterbend once. What is it? Oh, yeah. From our oasis and an invitation to return. Anytime. 
Lieutenant G would have known to stay out of the worst of the battle. Are they looking for him? crew may be looking for us right now. What do you want to do? It's kind of like when you hear that, the thing you have been working towards for so long just suddenly doesn't make sense anymore, and then it's just like, yeah, what now? A man needs his rest. Wise words from Uncle Iroh. I caused this. No, the Fire Nation did. Because I failed to be the Avatar. He really needs to stop blaming himself every time. I think I understand something Gyatso was trying to tell me. Let go of the past. We're all never of a future. You're gonna learn water bending, and I'm gonna make sure of that. And then earth bending. Which means back to a mosh you. So, anyone else hungry? Why is everything always about your stomach? Famous Ooh, quote. See, food is always the right <laughs> answer. Agna Keller took heavy damage. Pity. Pity. But not unexpected. Why attack the North at all? Distraction. The North was never the true target. For the first time yeah. in this century, Omashu is ours. Ba Sing Se stands between us. But there is no war in Ba Sing Se. Azula? Or did he not send her there yet? Fire Lord aware Prince Zuko was among the forces at Agna Kella. If Zuko was strong, he'll survive. If not, sometimes you have to sacrifice the weak to keep yourself strong. Oh yeah, it is her, I think. Yeah. Omashu is ours! Chills again. So, what's next? Oh, more? But the time finally draws near. When? Oh, yeah. When we shall see the return of Sozin's comet. Yep. Nice. I didn't think there was going to be a part after and when I saw the comment I was like, "Ooh, is this Sozin's comment? Yeah, it has to be." And yeah, here we go. <sighs> Damn. Okay. Yeah, I look like I just cried for an hour, but you know, where's the lie? So, I liked it. Um yeah, I really did. <laughs> because of course, over the past week there have been so many positive reactions but also so many negative reactions. It's kind of like you do kind of let them influence you. And it's like people, especially on Instagram, people are harsh. They're like, yeah, they completely ruined the entire show and this and that. And I'm just like, chill, dude. It's just like, to me, I, I really get the negative comments, but I also really get the positive comments. But for me, the positive outweighs the negative. And like the negative points for me would indeed mostly be that they did quite drastically change the characters. I have to say, in the third episode, I was so excited about it all. And, and like, oh, these characters, they're so much alike. But when you've seen the whole season, I, I do have to say, they are missing something from, yeah, the, the animated series. It's, especially, the, like I said, the main three feel like they're totally missing their character. And that's a sad thing. Yeah, I have it mostly with, with those three. For the rest, I, I feel like everything is, is pretty... Yeah, similar that the characters, I instantly know who they are. I recognize their behavior, stuff like that. I just feel like they really held back on Sokka, Katara and Aang. I think that is my biggest negative point. And then another small negative thing to me is that it was sometimes a little cringe. But I have to say, I feel like the animated series are too. But because it's an animated series targeted towards kids you don't notice it that much and it's all fine like i feel like an animated series it, it's like way more done to be a bit cringe than in live action series and that's why i'm also like okay but you have to realize this was made from an animated series so it didn't bother me too much but i do realize that there were some like yeah small cringy moments where they were just like the way they set things and they tried to make it so epic well sometimes it wasn't that epic you know what they were saying i think those were the like the negative things to me um if i look at the positive things i just had so much fun watching it and i think that really is the most important thing what was very cool to me is that we just see these characters and like i said before you see them and you're like, yes, these people, this is how they would probably actually look if they were actual people and not animated characters. Um, still have my doubts about Mai and Tai Li and maybe a little bit about Azula. But I have to say, I was thinking about this during the episode. Um, 
I feel like Azula looks younger here. And then I was thinking like, but is that wrong? Because in the animated series, I always felt like Azula looked way older than Zuko. And I remember that like, kind of my entire generation thought that Azula was the big sister. I think only a few years ago, my friend was like, but you do realize that Azula is the younger sister, right? And I was always like, what? She is the younger sister? And I don't know if I'm saying something that's completely crazy right now. I just know that a lot of people I know, they kind of had the same thing. And they were also like, yeah, I also found that out later. I feel like a lot of children thought, oh, she's the big sister. I think also because she always called him Zuzu. And I don't know. I just always thought she was older. Also because she looked older. Now in this show... I feel like she actually looks younger. That's why in my, my head, it doesn't completely fit with Azula yet, the Azula we know, but it does fit with the idea that she's like younger than Zuko. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's like a bad thing or anything. My and Tylido, like I said, we haven't seen that much of them yet and we're gonna see more of them now in season two, I think, uh, just like in the animated series. I don't feel them yet, but maybe that still has to come. I mean, the outfits were similar, but kind of like my friend said, they kind of look like cosplayers. Like, I don't look at them, them and I'm like, oh yes, that's my and Tylee. Uh, so maybe I still have to get used to them, but maybe once they have more screen time and we'll see more of them. Um, yeah, that will also get a bit better. But yeah, with Azula, I'm like, I, I only found out she's only 14 a few years ago. And in my mind, it was always like, oh, Azula is older than Aang, Sokakatar. I thought she was just like the oldest of all of them. I thought she was like 18 or something and then Zuko was like 15 or 16 and then, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I always had that wrong and I, I, I know a lot of people with me. But yeah, so I don't, don't feel too bad about that. Especially really like this episode. I feel like they translated all really well. One thing, oh, one more thing I'm negative about and then I'm gonna stop being negative. Um, but I mean, I'm just, it's just a critical review right now. And I feel I'm, I'm not, I feel like I'm not even that critical right now because there's people who are absolutely bashing the show. So um, yeah, just my honest opinions here. The relationship between Yui and, and Sokka, I didn't feel it. It was, it was so weird. Um, like when she became the moon, my first girlfriend became the moon. My friend has a back of that and it's always so funny when I see that back. But that part I was like, okay, I would have been totally fine with that if they had a good build up, but they didn't. It was just like, that that part felt so rushed. It was just like, why did you turn Han down? Yeah, he's not the man of my dreams, kisses Sokka. You've known Sokka for a day. Yeah, okay, you've seen him in the spirit world one time. How do you know that he's the man of your dreams? And, and why are you in? I would be like, whoa, uh, I don't know if that's any of your business, you know? If I was engaged to someone years ago and, and this boy I met a day ago would come up to me and would be like, why didn't you marry him? I would be like, okay, how, how is this any of your business, you know? So that whole scene just felt weird to me. I don't remember exactly how it went in the animated series, but I, I remember that I felt it way more than here. Which is somewhere a bit funny because with Suki and Sokka, I kind of had the opposite, um, taking in consideration that it was way different than in the animated series. But I still felt, if I look at them as just two random characters, I felt their chemistry way more than Sokka and Yue. I think they, they could have done a bit more with that moment and... and um, I'm just guessing right now they just didn't have time to expand the relationship a bit more. To me, it was just like, oh yeah, this girl is gonna turn into the moon and, and Sokka has known her for a day. And yeah, now he's totally heartbroken because his girlfriend of a day turned into the moon. <laughs> and it does kind of help that she met him in the spirit world as, as the fox. Um, but still, it felt really rushed. And I do understand when you only have eight episodes to translate an entire um, yeah, 20 episode animated series that you have to rush some things, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. I think they, they translated the, the, yeah, the spirit, how do you call it, spirit monster, like the big thing Aang became. Uh, I think that they did that really well. I think the whole fight was just very good as well. And the, the moments between Zhao and, and Zuko, they were, Damn, <laughs> yeah. So overall, I think it was just, yeah, very cool to watch. Very cool interactions. Uh, the fight between Katara and Zuko was also really cool. Yeah, I just, I think they, they did a good job. Yes, we all know it was never gonna be as good as the animated series. 
get over it. I mean, I enjoyed myself and I know a lot of people did that with me. And yeah, I, I mentioned the negative points. There are some negative points, but like I said, it doesn't outweigh the positive things for me. I had a really good time watching it and it was just so fun to see all of your childhood stuff being translated in something real, you know, just like, whoa, I'm seeing actual people here in, and not like drawings. Not that, that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just fun to see. I like that. I don't think I have a lot more to say. I like what they did with Sozin's Comet in the end. Instantly a refresher, like, oh yeah, that's what's coming. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to a season two. I, I think they still haven't announced it yet, but like I said before, I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. I'm very curious who they're going to cast as Toph. Um, I think that's that's one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to, to seeing her in the live action. And like I mentioned before, the, the storylines like the blood bending, uh, the, the hidden library in the in the desert. Abba's episode, I'm not looking forward to that, but at the same time, I kind of am. I also, I'm, I'm afraid they're going to cut that a bit short, maybe, because it's just going to be an entire episode about a sky bison. And uh, But I hope they do it justice. I think I just express my feelings over the overall show. I'm very much looking forward to season two. I want to thank you all for watching with me. And uh, I'm very curious what you thought of my reactions and just the show in general. Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see my full reactions to all the episodes, make sure to check out my Patreon. The link's in the description. And if you like my reaction, then please leave a like subscribe and then i hope to see you in the future in like other avatar episodes and otherwise i also react to a lot of other fun shows so uh, make sure to check out my channel and then i really hope to see you at another video bye